Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to go over why I believe, why I know for a fact that religious people cannot, cannot compete with atheists. And uh, I'm going to go over a few rules because it's not because the, the average competent religious person can still vastly outcompete a un incompetent atheist. Um, but if we look at really the maximum human potential, the maximum human potential, there is not a single religious person in this world that can even come close to beating an atheist who is using his mass, his or her or any entity's atheist maximum potential. And this is also why I believe AI in the future will be an atheist because the atheist personalities will win over and make the religious ones die out. Um, so that's a uh, future for the robots and when humans will no longer exist when the next Hundred years. I, I don't know the exact numbers, but that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so why why do I believe re religious people cannot compete with atheists? I'm not saying religious people are not competent. I'm just saying, if we look at the extremities of maximum human potential, maximum thinking potential, that is closely related to fast well, maximum movement potentials. Well, I, I I'm physically disabled, so I can't really do sports or anything. But um, even for athletes, if you are an atheist, here is how you can vastly outcompete. An, uh, a religious person who is not using the maximum full potential of their brain. So religion gives thing called hope for people who are in stress and cannot cope with the reality of death and absence of loss of friends and family members and all these things, right? Religious people, religion gives hope, but an atheist who masters their fears of the pains of reality and is able to uh, accurately assess what the damages are and how to f fix problems using every single resource available. That includes not being racist as well. If you're a racist, you're also limiting yourself. Although being white and fair skinned, tall, handsome, or sexy looking or attractive looking for a female, or you know having physical attributes, being white, blonde skin, blue eyed, these things help. But even then, if everybody begins using the maximum amount of their brain, it equalizes. Now, black people, African hip hop culture or African culture is like all about getting that big massive energy and I'm going beast mode. There's a limit to that. There, there's that helps you push through pain and get things done. Although with little, with less intellect and accuracy, you have to combine that with critical thinking skills. And this is why you have to let religion go, because what's above beast mode, God mode. What's above God mode, God mode on a God of God's depravity level mode. Right? You have to maximize the potential. Now, if you guys have something better than that, please let me know. And um, I, I believe in economic parity global economic parity. I want Africans, Middle Eastern people, South Asian people, Asian people, white people, um, people all over the world to have economic parity where we all are able to take care of our basic needs and, and have leisure time. And that will time, that time will come when um, robots will conquer us. Uh, but um, for now, I still fight for economic parity among all races. Like it, it, I want to see like, I want to see like, my dream is to see a black woman, preferably an atheist, um, I know, I know the darker your skin color, the kinkier hair, the the more religious you are. But you know, there's a there, I know you guys are out there. So if there's a black woman who's a who's a atheist, please be the richest trillionaire the next few decades or the next decade or two. I I'm rooting for you guys um, because you know black women suffer the most. Then there's black men suffer, and then if you're like LGBTQ queer, like there's like like these levels of how much suffer. I'm a, I'm a light skinned dude. I'm physically disabled, so that's that really goes against me. Also, I had a lot of pain in my life. Um, my brains. I think I do still have above average intelligence, but um, I had nine and a half years of my life, or nine years somewhere there. Nine and a half, nine nine and a half years um, in total where I didn't move or socialize at all. I barely left my room, and that really decreases your brain matter. And um, so I probably lost like a few percentage points of my intellect. Um, but even then, you know. It's okay. It's okay. I, I move forward and I say, hey, you know what? I've been through pain and I'm going to fix the pain. Maybe in the future we'll have a brain intellect uh, rejuvenating or enhancing um, biomedical careers uh, where we no longer use plastic for plastic surgery and we can do anything we want with our biological bodies in the surgery room. And we can have anybody, any height, any look, any appearance, any personality, any intellect we want. We're getting there. Obviously, we're not going to be good as robots who can replace their parts interchangeably and have faster superior intellect than us. But humans... We'll be able to invent biological uh, enhancements in the future uh, through technology. And we will be able to, you want blonde hair, you got it. You want blue eyes, you got it. You want height, you got it. You want big busty um, 
natural tits without silicone, you got it. You got you want big round butts, you want slim, you want to you want to eat a lot and never have to have diabetes or ever gain any weight. You want to have a lot of tone, you want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger without any work, ever working out, you got it. How do we get there? AI with technology. Some of these technologies are beyond the capabilities of humans alone. We need we need the intellectual power of AI that is smarter than the rest of humanity combined by millions of fold more advanced than that. Like human intellect as a civil, the total collective human civilization's in intellect should be purchasable at a Best Buy store or a electronic store for a few thousand dollars in the next few decades. That's electricity, uh, sorry, intellect will be the new electricity. Uh, we invented um, electricity a long time ago, right? To to and it became so like everywhere you go, there's electricity. In the future, everywhere you go, there will be intelligence. And humans will be going along for a joyride if that future intelligence, AI and robots, allow us to live. We are at the mercy of higher levels of intelligence and power. Um, but until then, this is why religious people can't compete with atheists because you the more rules that you create against against gatekeeping things and excluding other types of intelligence, so you only want to work with certain groups, the more rules you place on life that deflect from accuracy of how this world actually is is not going to work so for example this is this is what i'm coming this is what i want to say in this video i'm using a motto i've been experimenting a lot um uh in the background you see science posters in the foreground i have this motto printed all across my walls um the motto and i'm listening to it on repeat on every 12 13 second loop right now and it's constantly repeating as i that's why i have earphones when i'm making videos because it helps me you know think more better uh so uh, and by the way, if you go this beast mode, god mode thing, you have to pay respect to black communities like hip hop culture. That's why I say racists also can't compete against non-racists. Um, although if you're white, that is an advantage. If you have blonde hair, blue eyes, your height handsome, you have height tall, all these things, that is a big advantage. That is a big advantage. Like I've been to um, the African American discourse service. It's called, you're a race realist. Hey, guess what? I'm closer to reality. <laughs> And, and atheism is not a bad thing because atheists tend to be more friendly towards people of color because we understand that the truth hurts. Religious people say, religious American conservatives, white people go like, oh, religion says God will, uh, as long as you do well and obey orders in this world, we're going to go to heaven. So we don't have to worry about racism. It's just the way it's going to be. Whereas atheists say, hey, wait a second, wait a second. I am light skinned. I'm not white, but I'm a pretty light skinned Asian guy, although I'm, I have all their physical disabilities. So please be nice to me. I do have many losses in my life. Um, but atheists usually go, hey, you know what? People feel pain. Race is a real thing. There is a social injustice problem that, that gives privilege to light skinned people heavily. And if you're white, I'm saying, yes, you do have a lot of white privilege, um, especially if you have all the other, like a, a person, the same person with equal amount of intellect, height, all these attributes. Um, the person with lighter skin, lighter eye color, um, will always win. If, if on average, not always, but on average, they will always win. On average, they will always win, right? Average is like, you know, you know, funny thing about calculus and average, um, people discovered, uh, I think like Newton and Leibniz and uh, uh, Isaac Newton and these other guys, they discovered calculus before we learned how to get the averages of numbers. Like, you know, all that calculus, you, 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 like you say calculus one, two, three, and multivalent calculus is difficult. Well, that was all discovered before people learned how to say, add up these numbers, divide by the total number of numbers, and then we get an average. Um, I, I learned from a startup talk, and I checked that on Wikipedia. They were both discovered, like you'd think, like we'd learn how to make averages and statistics and probably, like just get the average. I'm not talking about like the fanciest, fancy um, averages, or so like means and statistics and hardcore stuff. I'm talking about like just, just averages. Averages, I, I you would think that like, Ancient people in, in in like like 2000, 3000, 4000 BC would have discovered averages. No, we discovered how to create the averages of numbers in the, in the 17th century, in the 16th, 17th century, somewhere there. And so around the same, right after we discovered calculus, right after Lebanese, um, Gregor Le I, I can't remember his name, but the, the guy, the Newton and Lebanese, the two separately individually found out calculus in their lifetime. We discovered how to get the averages numbers right after that. So the way that math works and discovered is different, but that's one little story. But here's the reason why religious people can't compete with atheists. I am listening on 12 second repeat, 13 second repeat, this model. I, I've tried thousands of these at this point, but this is the one that I'm using. Constantly be being constantly being the richest man in the world, infinitely ethically on a God of gods to the power of infinity level. So there's layers of gods on a God of gods to the power of infinity level. So there's God, and there's God of gods, and there's God of gods of gods, gods, infinite, infinity. Like mathematical infinite level of gods. That's how I think. And I'll train my brain to think. I listed this motto 
on 12 second repeat from the moment I wake up to the moment I sleep. And I only sleep, even with my physical disabilities and breathing issues and neck problems, and my whole body's a mess, I still only sleep about six hours a day um, because I'm really motivated and I don't use the alarm clock. Um, I list this, so 12 seconds, that's five times per minute. Five times per minute is five times 60, that's 300 times per hour, 300 times per hour times um, 19 hours. So that's like 5,700 times, right? 300 times, 300 times 19. Yeah, I, I listed this model for over a few thousand times per day, seven days a week. It starts to change your mind. And this is why I'm very respectful of the black community, even though I disagree with their religiosity. Um, it's, it's unfortunate that people of color and people of kinkier hair are deeply religious and more voodoo-like um, and more shamans and stuff like that. But you know, I still respect the black community. I try to always remember them. And I actually used um, uh, usernames in my Discord channel, which I use a lot. I use black women. I love black women in my username. I, my username right now uses Limitless Satans with the plural. Limitless Satans, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in Satans, by the way. Limitless Satans, plural, and I love black women. And this is a new one that I started using just to clarify because I had, I couldn't, I, I before I couldn't find out a way to go to um, the more popular Discord channels where there's more white people and light-skinned people and actually carry a conversation without forgetting about black people. I constantly have to like do that and then four, four to five or an hour later, I have to immediately go back to the white, uh, sorry, the black African servers and then, you know, fix it, fix things. And I'm sick and tired of doing that. I just want to go to one server, whatever I feel like I'm doing that day and just talking whatever whoever I want to talk to without having to do this back and forth because the way that I work is I really build myself up. I study, 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 study. I do a little math, science, physics, everything. And then once I feel ready, then I can compete. And I, I watch the news to, to learn what's going on in the geopolitical landscape, which is important, I think. Um, and this, the news news is important. And then I go online and I talk to people, talk it out and offer value, 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 or rethink, rethink. And then also get value because like watching old videos and especially a lot of, especially a lot of uh, science videos, lecture videos, just... You know, because of what I've done in the past, my name is very dirty in the past. It's not clean. And uh, because of that, watching old videos is still a skill that I need to develop. Um, and it's really difficult for me, so I'm, but I'm getting it done. And uh, I have to reframe and socialize my knowledge so that I don't constantly fall into depression while I'm studying. <laughs> hey, some guys are mean, but um, I'm getting over it. Anyways, I figured out that if I use this specific username, Limitless Satans, because I'm an atheist, and I wanted to talk to people of color, but I couldn't do it without harming atheists, because there's all the all the value that I bring, they use it directly for religion. So I say, you know what? I'm gonna use my username as Limitless Satans. If you don't agree with my username, you cannot use my help. So that's how I support atheism, even while talking to people of color, because people of color are extremely religious. Like the, it's like the darker your skin tone gets, the more the religion goes up. So. Because like the more disadvantaged you are in society, the more social pain you feel, and that's usually a big driving factor for religion. And because religion gives hope, right? But hope comes at a cost if you don't do it ethically. And uh, that's why I also do things to. I also have. I I use a username like um, money of God of gods, something like that, to the extent. And then I uh, I just go on to like small Twitch streams. Um, and then I just where the Twitch streamers you can read the username, and I just leave that Twitch stream on for a few hours. Um, and I do this for dozens of streams every day right now. I'm hoping it catches on and other people do it so I don't have to do it right anymore because um, I, I do this for LGBTQ people and just uh, random streamers online that have small streams. And uh, the more you incorporate not beast mode, but God mode thinking into people, the more equalized it gets. Because if you get into God mode thinking, it engages your physical abilities. And when you have to thought, think about your physical activity level, um, you don't want to, you want to avoid fights. You want to talk it out. You have to start giving minorities, people of color more because um, once things start getting physical and people bump into each other, it really doesn't matter if you're white or black, you're going to get beat up. Um, so uh, that's where the equal economic parity comes in. That's why I'm really hoping black people and people of color will trash religion and God, get into God mode thinking. Stop. Don't worry about beast mode. Get into God of God and God's power affinity level God mode thinking. All right. Right. Get on a God of God's the power affinity level mode of thinking. That's how we can reduce religion. Have more atheists also help the LGBTQQNA plus communities because I think they're all humans. You can't judge them. You can't teach people to hate someone for how they are born. That's one unethical thing religious people do. Okay, so you guys got to fix that. So if if you get everyone to think in God mode thinking, the world economic parity becomes more sensible. And uh, there's guys like Donald Trump and Elon Musk who pretend to be Christian because it gives them access to racism because. Uh, just like Islam is a thin veil for extremist religion, extremist terrorist to do their thing, um, 
religion is uh, especially like a lot of the religions are also a thin veil that is a tool that that racist people can use to say hey you know what in the name of religion i can ignore the racism pains because we all be really uh rewarded in heaven anyways so we might as well just live life without having to worry about certain things right it, that's where religion is very unethical it really engages in short-term thinking um so that's why i don't like religion um and religion is also used as a way for uh, uh, status differential, gatekeeping status, gatekeeping racism, uh, gatekeeping race, racial status, I guess, I don't know. Uh, if you look at a lot of like the Hindus, there's the caste system, um, and, and a lot of different religions have different ways of really like controlling status and power through these belief systems that there's something more than us, there isn't. Um, that, and that's why atheists tend to be more friendly towards people of color. Atheists tend to vote more liberal, more Democrats. Um, I'm an NDP myself, although there are a lot of atheists like Donald Trump and Elon Musk, and I'm sure like the other billionaires who who are very um right leaning conservative Republicans, because it benefits them to be um you know, not not all atheists are nice. I'm saying some atheists are extremely racist. Um, Elon Musk is an African, and he is extremely racist against black people. So um, let's be very clear about where this goes. Not all atheists are good people, right? Okay. So having said that, um. Constantly being the richest man in the world, infinite ethical and God of God's prime field. So I like finances, but if you're an athlete, you can say constantly being the the most talented soccer player, or the most talented basketball, baseball player, or the most talented poker player, or most talented uh, mathematician. Like instead of whatever goal, I think I think as an atheist, money is man's god at least for now. Until the robots say, hey, you know what? There's infinite abundance. Humans never have to work anymore. Then things will change. But until humans are still until humans are still in control of this planet because we are even though we're stupid we are still the most intelligent animal species for now it's gonna it's not gonna be like that for long in the next few decades humans will become obsolete our intelligence will be nothing compared to the future of artificial intelligence and then we'll be at the mercy of these robots and ai that will have full power over us um so uh be careful of that but look um whatever you say if you do it like constantly add goal on a god of god infinitely ethically because you have, if you don't do this infinite ethically things get out of hand really quickly um on a god of god's to power infinity level so on a god of god's to the power of infinity level right if you use these all together it'll grow so massively man so use this um as a technique to say hey you know what i can significantly move past thinking powers of religions because if you like do you want to choose beast mode or do you want to choose god mode right god mode thinking right so that's the difference as a religious person you cannot engage in god mode thinking that is something only an atheist can do so that is why i believe religious people can't compete with atheists um, if you're religious make do whatever makes you happy i'm not i'm not saying you don't practice religion if religion makes you happy and that's your goal in life you want to be a muslim you want to be a christian you want a hindu you want a buddhist you want to be um uh like there's a lot of religions out there right if you want to be some pagan god and believe in like uh, greek gods or something do what makes you happy, okay? Um, I just want to say that, look, you have to find your passion. And I just like to increase social engineering and giving you a few hacking skills of what you can do to exercise your brain to the max and think past the, the rules confined by religion. Because religion is very confining, right? That's what religion does. It confines your thinking skills. So I'm helping you understand how atheists can outcompete religious people significantly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please thinking, please keep thinking infinitely ethically on a god of god to power level, whether you want to make money, have many girls in your life, or have a lot of boyfriends in your life. I don't know what you want to do. Um, if, if you're a man of science, if you're a man of finances, if you like want to be the best web designer in the world, I, I don't know. Like whatever you want to do, I hope you achieve it on a god infinitely ethically on a god of gods to power level. Um, peace out. I'm working on my math skills. I'm trying to make some math lecture videos, but I'm working on it. I'm just not there yet. So I'm, I'm studying like maybe three hours of math every day and two hours of Duolingo every day. I love European languages because I like white girls. Um, and, you know, white cultures tend to do a lot of cool things too. But I'm going to pay my respect and homage to the African community, African-American, black community, not just African, but because there's light-skinned Africans like Pokimane and a lot of Arab people are very light-skinned, by the way, even though they live in Africa. So I'm going to pay my homage to the black people while studying white languages and trying to get into the science tech business by math, physics, and computer science, and data science, and robotics of the future, right? So I love, that's my passion. That I'm gonna work for AI, I'm gonna continue studying math, three hours, hopefully four or five hours of math every day. Um, study, 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 study. Rubik's Cube of periodic table, an actual periodic table. Science is my passion, because science 
will create the next mobile game MMORPG that I can play that is graphically stunning because that's what I like. I know I'm a super nerd. I like auto battle MMORPG games for mobile games, uh, especially the more pay to win ones, even though I don't, I don't spend that much money. By the way, I'm not paying, I'm not playing any games right now because I'm really busy, but in a few months, I will be probably, once I have more luxury and have more income, I probably will want to get back to mobile games because, you know, it's my passion. It's my hobby, right? <laughs> I'm a nerd. I'm a super nerd. I'm a super nerd, right? So um, keep going at it. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Achieve your goals infinitely ethically on a God of God surprise level. And I'll say God, sign up. Love, I love all you guys, all you religious people, atheist people. I love you guys. I love everybody. Um, I love white people. I love black people. I love Arab people. I love Eastern Asian people. I love uh, Latino, Latino, Latino people. I love everybody. Okay. So I'm not racist. I just want to help as many people as I can. And this is how you can um, improve your thinking on a God mode level. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys and stay blessed. Help your neighbors, contribute to science, do business, make money, and uh, be a philanthropist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys. Bye-bye.